Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jake's Thoughts Podcast. Oh, my God. Mm. Woo! This is such a good song, man. You know it is. Quit your bullshit. Just be real with yourself. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We got a fun one today. I saw these two really good news articles that I just have to, I have to talk about. But first, let me just get into this healthy debate. Let me just share my opinion because some of you, I know most of you will not agree. But here's the deal. Okay, so I had a Samsung phone, right? Let's start off. It's nice and easy. I had a Samsung phone for the past, I don't know, like six years of my life, right? I got different ones. I had the A71 or 75 or some shit. Then I got the A53. Both 5G, right? And they were fine. And pretty recently, like two days ago, this the Android phone, Samsung thing I had, it started fucking up. I did. I dropped it too many times. Honestly, it was just getting cracked and I was getting mad at this thing. So I would start to punch. I literally start to punch the fucking phone and start to fucking bend the phone. I was like, fuck this thing, right? I started getting angry. And it stopped working. So I was like, you know what? I'll get a new phone. So my girl, my family were like, get an iPhone. Come back to the blue bubble. I hate this shit. So now I went out and got an iPhone 14. Okay. No case. I just got a new one. Glass. This is some bullshit, dude. $800 for this shit? This? I can't even change the color of the fucking keyboard, bro. Got my Fresco. I'm feeling good. Mm. Get you on the, you get yourself on the Fresco train. But let's just let's just agree. Some of you won't, but it's my stance. iPhones fucking suck. iPhones are the worst. You could be like Androids, Androids quality, Androids, their camera quality is bad. Motherfucker, it's the top tier. It's what your eye sees, okay? The iPhone kind of just, you know, makes it seem a little bit smoother, but what your eye truly sees is what the Android processes, okay? And now it doesn't send that well because it's two different fucking carriers, okay? And it doesn't look good on Snapchat because Apple is partners with Snapchat. I think Apple fucking like owns Snapchat or some shit. Look it up. I believe that's true. All right, but now this is a pretty quick episode today. We got two stories that I think are fucking hilarious today, guys. Okay, first one. This one's pretty easy. This is on the I went to NPR.org. I love looking at their strange news articles just because I get a fucking good laugh out of it, right? Here we go. May 10th, 2023. This is the title. How wine and candy helped an Australian woman survive five days in the bushland. <laughs> now, first of first, you have to believe this could only happen to an Australian, right? This, If this happened to an American, she wouldn't have lasted a day. She would have been dead. She would have been fucking dead, okay? Now, if it happened to someone in Britain... They had didn't have the fish and chips, they'd be fucking dead, right? But the Australian chick, of course she's fucking Australian. This is so good, bro. Could you imagine? Like, okay, so here's the deal. She's lost, right? And it's five days. It's not like she'll die after five days. Like somebody like, you need water, but have you ever seen the movie Unbroken? You know what I'm saying? Them bitches lasted like months, no water. No food, nothing. Just sitting on a raft in the middle of the ocean. They survived. She would have been fine either way. But I love it. I love, I love, I love that she's lost in the wilderness, right? The bushland. And she's like, man, how am I going to survive? Let me pop this bottle of La Quisiera Mutubushiano, a nice red blend, right? And let me get a little wasted. Let me enjoy my time out here. If I'm going to die out here, let's go out partying. That's what I'm loving. Could you imagine this bitch is just like, help, help. And then she's like, man, no one's coming. So she starts downing a bottle of red wine. Bro, do you not think that's fucking hilarious? And then she's like, man, I'm getting hungry. What am I going to do? So she just starts sucking on a butterscotch. (laughs) That's fucking hilarious, man. You don't think that's fucking funny that this chick is alone in the wilderness and the only way she can survive is get drunk and eat candy? That's a vacation for some. You know what I'm talking about? Some people want to go out there and just get just get drunk and eat some candy. It's vacation. This bitch is fighting for survival. Is that not funny to you? 
it is to me that she's just out there. Her car is broken down. She's probably, I, I, the way I build this scenario, she's somehow stuck in, in that mud, that shit, that uh, quicksand. You know what I'm saying? That we're all scared of as young kids, but then we've never even seen it and gone anywhere near it, know nothing about it, but we're just thinking that quicksand is everywhere, but this somehow this Australian bitch finds it. But she's like, at least you know what? I got my wine and candy. She's just fucking eating Smarties. She's crumb she's crushing that shit up and <laughs> a line of Smarties, drinking some Chardonnay or some shit. That's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. She's just out there getting boozed up. And then the cops find her and she's all, uh, she's like got alcohol poisoning for how fucked up she is. Just all, uh, 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 officer. And they're like, what? You know, when the cops find her, they're just like, she's fine, dude. She's just out here partying. And she's like, no, I need help. They, what if they left her? What if the cops found her and they're like, just another fucking drunk homeless lady. Just fucking wasting her life away. And she's like, no, uh, she's too drunk to ask for help. Just, uh. <laughs> They're like, look at this. All look at all the fucking butterscotch wrappers around her. Look at this bitch. She ain't even fucking. She ain't sick, or she ain't, she didn't need help, right? That's that's the first thing that I think is just so funny. That's that. Of course, it had to be an Australian. You know, of course it had to be. And if it was an American, we would all be like, look at that lazy fuck. Look at him. He couldn't. He couldn't walk home. Really. But since it's Australian, it's so much funnier to me. Here's this other one. May 21st, 2023 in the National the national News, I guess it's the title of it. You ready? Here it goes. And, and it reads, an Indiana man is dead after a grenade found in a grandfather's belongings exploded. <laughs> That's the most pirate shit I've ever heard, bro. That's the most tripwire Indiana Jones pirate shit I've ever heard. That he's that this grandfather, either this grandfather was so old and senile that, that he thought this was going to be a funny little joke, or he booby trapped his will to have a grenade explode on his family when they opened up his belongings. Could you imagine that? Look at your grandpa. If you have, are you you're close to your grandfather? I'm not close to either. They both are dead. So maybe this is why it's funny to me because when we opened up their shit, they, nothing exploded, right? But maybe you, you know your grandfather. Maybe you live with your grandfather. Maybe something like you're close to your grandfather, right? And he passes away. And you go up and you go into his house and he, he always has that chest or something. He's got that box where you're like, man, he says he's been keeping all the shit in there. And your dad is like, all right, well, let's go take a look. You cut open that box, you open up the top, and you hear clink, and you're like, what the fuck is that? And you're like, he opens up the box some more, and poof, grenade explodes. <laughs> Could you imagine an old fuck just trying to booby trap his will with a grenade? Who do you, who does he think is coming after him? Who do you think is going to open your shit, Grandpa? It's us, man. It's us. Uh, your Aunt Sally or your cousin Sally just wants that fucking necklace that you said you were going to leave her. But you put a grenade in it? An active... How did you get your hands on an active grenade? Could your 80... Fuck it. Fuck uh, 70. Could your 70 year old grandfather somehow get his hands on an active grenade? Who's selling the 70 year old grandfather an active grenade? And what war story did he have to come up with to get that fucking grenade off the black market? Do you think it was like a drug deal real quick? He passed the guy like, uh, how much is a, how much is a fucking grenade, man? That this grandfather just hands this guy a wad of cash and he hands him back a grenade. Now, this is the most amazing part. That the grandfather, the senile fuck, is able to just carefully handle and place a grenade to be trip-wired, booby-trapped on this thing, right? And that these people don't know. Does this... I'm really hoping... I'm really hoping that this grandfather just had a really dark sense of humor. 
Either that or that he he was scared he's going to be really lonely in the afterlife. Either one of the two, right? Let's just go down the road that he has a great sense of humor. That he thought he was just going to play it funny, right? He was, he is going to die. Everyone's going to be sad. And he'll just put a grenade in here. And that when they see it, they'll be like, oh, grandpa, what are you doing with your grenades? Like... Put it up. No one's gonna. No one's coming after you. But this fucker was literally like, "I'm gonna have it explode on a family member." Could you imagine your dead grandfather? He died, <sighs> right? Right. He's gone, and you just want some of that memorabilia to remember him. And so you go into his dresser. And you open up the drawer, and then you see a grenade, and it unclicks, and you have three seconds to run and turn away as fast as you can before you explode. Grandpa left a funny. (laughs) Dude, what? What? Your grandfather booby trapped his will with a grenade could you imagine the opening up that shit it explodes and your hands are blown off you no longer have hands because your dead grandfather was trying to make a funny you can't toss a salad no more you can't tie your shoes no more well uh, uh, I think that's fucking hilarious. Both of these stories are so good to me. Man, this is just such a fucking good... I love looking up these, like, random stories. And now here... uh, This uh, this is another one that I thought was kind of, like, stupid. But at the same time, I'm like... Why would people even do that? Oh, here we go. You ready? A Spanish athlete spent 500 days alone in a cave... For science. Bruh, hold on. Hold on. Could you imagine spending three hours in a cave? I've been I've been splunking where you're like (sighs) you breathe out and you crawl, you crawl through this little opening in a rock. And you hope to God you don't get stuck in there. I've done that with a hard hat and the little lantern. I've done that shit. It was fun. It was like three hours. And you know what? Done after that. I did it. Done. This bitch spent 500 days in a dark cave shitting in a bucket just to see and i read her article because i thought it was actually kind of interesting like not that funny but just like what is this what is she doing this chick was like you know what i just wanted to see like how people handled it she went in at 48 came out at 50 think about that think about that i'm 23 right now if i went into a cave and came out at 25, two ye- almost two years, sitting alone in the dark. And you know what she said? You know what she said when they, when they brought her out? She was like, oh, she literally was like, it wasn't that bad. I could have gone for longer. You could have stayed in a cave for longer? I think that tells me more about you than it does really the human race. I don't think you can say that most people could handle that shit. I don't think people can sit in a room for 30 minutes by themselves with their thoughts. I don't think they can. 500 days. 500 days in a cave. What are you eating? What are you eating? You're eating the fucking Cliff bars. You're eating Cliff and Kind bars and Gatorade and water. That's what people are just bringing, bringing you down food on a little bucket like in a well. And you're like, oh, what do we got this week? Maybe like a firehouse sub or I don't know, maybe some Moe's because it's way better than the fucking Chipotle. We all know that. Or like, ooh, maybe like I got a Wendy's four for four. Like you want fast food, right? Or maybe you're like, ooh, maybe some chicken and broccoli. And they bring down bring it down you're like oh here we go here we go god dang it cliff bars again bro that is fucking crazy that is actually crazy people are doing it though people are fucking doing it these people are wild man 
That's it. Those are the three things I just had to talk about. I mean, it's actually wild what goes on in this world that someone can get lost in the wilderness and just be a surviving on wine and candy. That's what people. That's what people here in America do for vacations. This chick in Australia. That's how she survived. Okay, let's just let's just illuminate that. Second, the grandfather left an active grenade for his family to find and get blown up by. Does that does maybe you know what you know what? Let's shed some light on maybe that grandfather didn't like his family. Maybe he was like, you know what? I don't want any of y'all fuckers messing with my shit. I worked for this. Okay, you're not getting it. You know what? I want to destroy the documents and whoever's close enough. That's that's a grand. That's an evil ass grandfather. Is he actually evil or is he just funny as fuck? Those are the questions. Then this bitch spent five hundred days in a cave. I mean, uh, humans are wild. Humans are absolutely crazy. We're crazy. We're crazy. That's it. Thank you for listening and watching and uh, you know commenting, subscribing, sharing this, sending this to all your friends and family, and being like, "This guy's hilarious. You should watch his shit." And maybe just click on another episode because it's about to pop up right now. I'm sure it already has. Subscribe. I hope to see you again. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.